Socialway is a WordPress solution based on most popular and time-tested plugin BuddyPress and LearnPress. Socialway has a story feature in it and we have integrated it using the WP Story plugin which is premium but it is free for our Socialway users. So for that we will go to our dashboard and in the install plugins you can see that our WP Story plugin has already been installed. So we will just click on the settings. So here you have different options. So in the general settings you have the style option where you can change the style of your story like if you want it in Facebook style or Instagram style. So I will just change to Instagram style and save it and now if you go to our preview and refresh it you will see that our Instagram style story has been applied. You can also on off the story reporting system if you want to then you can also enable the full screen but it will only be visible for touch screens and some of the browsers. Now if you go to the displaying option you will find one option that is you can enable story time if you want to. Now we'll go to the user publishing option where the first option that we have is the default story duration which I have set to 3 you can change to any if you want then you can also specify what image type you want to allow if you want to allow all then just leave it empty you can also do the same for the video type you can also change the other option as well as per your preferences but I will just keep it as default so now when I click on the image compression, you can hear enable or disable if you want the image compression before uploading. Then let's go to the styling option. Here you have the first option that is the story background. You can change to whatever you want, but I'm just leaving it default. Then we'll go to the cycle style. So here you can change the background color if you want to. And I'm also changing the color type to gradient. So the ring that we see in our preview, that is our cycle style. Now here I will click on the title style and I will just keep it default. So now I will again go to the user publishing option where the last option that you will find is allow story link. So we have already enabled it. So let's go to a preview and add a story. So here I will click on add story. So a pop-up box will appear where I will give the story link test. So I will just write here a text and then I will give a story link and I will choose a media from my PC and I will publish it. So now you can see that our story has been published and if you click on this you will also get a full view of it. So now we'll go to the integrations and the first option is the BuddyPress integration. So here we have enabled the BuddyPress integration. Then we have the option for single story. We will enable it and save it. Now we'll go to our preview and we'll go into our profile. So here you can see that the story has been added. Now we'll again come to our dashboard and I will also enable the public stories and I will save it. Now I will again go to the website and refresh it and here you can see that we can also add highlight story to it. So I will again go to the dashboard and disable both the option and save it. So now if I again go to the preview and refresh it, you won't find any story in the profile. So if you want to enable the user activities on the activity feed, then you can enable it from here and also you can enable the publishing form. And this is how you can set up the WP Story plugin and upload your stories in the Social V website. Get started with Social V today and start leveraging the power of your knowledge and community.